men's soccer is through to the GSC tournament. And Robert Lane's women's team secures a first winning season since 2008. Volleyball prepares a strong conclusion their first season in the Gulf South. And Coach Van Atta prepares for his second season in charge. All this and more on Falcon Fever. Welcome to Falcon Fever. I'm Alex Tejada. And I'm Elizabeth Reinhardt. Montevallo's men's soccer team are back in the Gulf South Tournament in their first season back in the conference. Bruce Dieterle's Falcons are 8-6-2 with a pair of road trips left in the season. After clinching a GSC tourney berth after Sunday's 4-0 win over Delta State, the Falcons turned their attention to Thursday's visit to Spring Hill. The Badgers are 10-3 and pose stiff opposition for Montevallo. The Falcons boast the second-best defense in the conference and will conclude their 2017 campaign on Saturday in Pensacola when they face West Florida. The first round of the GSC tournament is held on the 31st and will be hosted by the third and fourth seeded teams, with the top two getting a bye to the semifinal in Montgomery. Stay tuned to MontevalloFalcons.com to see who Montevallo clashes with on Halloween. Montevallo's volleyball team is 10 and 12 and only one sit game outside of the top six places that make next month's conference tournament. The Falcons have six remaining games, two of which are at Trustmark Arena. This Saturday, the Falcons travel to Carrollton to play West Georgia and Augusta. After a Halloween showdown with West Alabama, Montevallo tra travels to Shorter and Lee. Coach O'Brien's Falcons conclude the year at home on November 10th on senior night. Senior Christy Bohan leads the team in kills with 229, and freshman Amanda Nugent is one kill away from 200 on the season. The rebuilding of Montevallo's women's soccer team under Robert Lane continues in his third year in charge. The Falcons have improved on last season's six wins and have secured a first winning season since 2008 after Sunday's tie with Delta State. Despite missing out on the Gulf South Conference tournament, Thursday's season finale against in-state rival Auburn Montgomery promises to be an intriguing match. Senior and four-year starter Taylor Gonzalez will play her final match in a Montevallo uniform. The Kansas native has scored in the last two contests and is finding form at the right time. Coach Lane's side have found goals easier to come by this season thanks to the addition of freshman forwards. Allie Darnell leads the team with five goals and Kira Bockert has added four in her first season with the Falcons. Well, unfortunately, the season's about to come to a close for soccer. And for volleyball. And, and for volleyball, so it's such a sad time. I know, because the teams have been doing so well this year. I mean, it could be a little bit better, but they're doing so well in their first season in the Gulf South Conference. It's really exciting. Yeah, it's entertaining, and hopefully the men can go pretty far in the tournament. They won hopefully. the Peach Belt a couple years ago, so Bruce Dieterle knows how to take his side to its yeah. conference final. We will see. And despite fall sports coming to a conclusion, basketball season is right around the corner. Stan Van Atta is preparing for his second season since returning to, the, to coach the women's basketball program he helped to all six of their 21 seasons. Alex Tejada caught up with the Hall of Fame coach. From phenomenal to frustrating, head coach Stan Van Atta's first season since returning to Montevallo saw the Falcons finish with a 5-21 record in a year of highs and lows. Well, I, I said this from the very beginning. I love my team. I mean, I did. They gave me everything I asked them for. In their final season in the Peach Belt, the Falcons picked up crucial victories over Flagler and Young Harris. Coupled with a double overtime thrilling victory over Lemoyne Owen, last season produced many positives to take away from Van Atta's first year back. We were in a lot of games that we probably shouldn't have been, even up to the very end of the season. I think they, I think they fought and they clawed and they scratched for everything they've got. Taking over a program that only won eight games in the previous two seasons was a tough task for the coach, who won 166 games during his previous tenure with the Falcons. However, with junior college transfers Aaliyah Rice and Cassidy Bonebreak being named top newcomers by the Gulf South Conference, Van Atta has lots of reasons to be optimistic. Both those girls um, you know, are quality basketball players. They've got a lot of college games under their belt. True freshman DeAsia March and Nautica Philpot arrive after averaging double-digit points in high school. With a new assistant coach, Matt Durkin, and a new conference, things will be very different this season. You know, I think we can really compete at a high level in this conference. I think we have an opportunity to be, um, you know, continue to grow uh, as a squad. We're very young, um, and we're all going to experience this together. Uh, and so we're all going to learn, and we're all going to develop, and I think we're all going to succeed, um, you know, here in a, a short period of time, given what, we're, what our goals are. Predicted to finish 13 in the Gulf South Conference, Coach Van Atta's side will be seen as an underdog, even here at home at Trustmark Arena. However, with the winningest coach in school history in his second stint in charge, 
A first winning season since 2013 could be heading to Trustmark Arena. Reporting for Valovision News, I'm Alex Tejada. And that's all the time we have for today on Falcon Weekly. I'm Alex Tejada. And I'm Elizabeth Reinhardt. Thanks so much for joining us, and we'll see you next time.